Hi everybody, Julie Miller here from Premier Fitness. Welcome to Arm Day. It's Monday. It's Arm Day. We're gonna get to work on some arms today. Obviously, that's Arm Day. So grab some water, get some comfy clothes, start your favorite playlist. If you have, you'd like to listen to some music other than the mic voice, I won't take offense to it. But before we get started, I want to talk about our Lunch and Learn coming up this week. It is this Wednesday, 26th, yes, Wednesday the 26th at noon, we will be going Facebook Live and we're going to do a tour of the facility. We're going to meet some more of the trainers that you may, may or may not know. We're going to maybe do some mini classes and we're going to try to play all kinds of fun stuff. So try to join us for your lunchtime. Just grab your healthy lunch. Tune in and we will see you the 26th at noon. Also, don't forget to like the Ashtabula County Medical Center on Facebook. Give us a like and you'll be notified of all the content that we have going on here at Premier Fitness and also whatever's going on at the hospital. So for arm day, I've got five exercises. We're going to do these five exercises for a predetermined set of reps. Um, if you have a hard surface, grab a mat to do because three of them are on the floor. One, two, three on the floor. Two of them are standing. So let's get warmed up. And then I'll run through the exercises real quick and then we will do them. So standing with our feet hip width distance apart, we're going to do nice, slow, big arm circles. So every time I do these, I feel a crack. In my shoulders right there <laughs> good all right pause at the bottom now we're gonna reverse ah oh, nice and slow so we're stretching and moving all at the same time so as you're moving your arms around really try to stretch them in the opposite direction of your body good float them down nice and slow bring those arms out to a T we're gonna pre I'm gonna press my palms backward so my thumbs are facing back good and then we're going to bring everything forward and then hug that imaginary tree round your back bring your shoulders forward gazing toward the floor good bring your palms up thumbs facing backward chest to the sky and bring it forward round your back again bring your hands back and forward Let's do one more and bring it forward. Good, drop those arms down. Take nice wide feet, a couple, maybe two times your shoulder length. Bring your arms out to a T and we're just gonna stretch like you're being pulled in opposite directions. Like a normal Monday at work or wherever you're doing on Monday, you're getting pulled in two different directions. But this one we're gonna enjoy, it's a nice hip stretch. And bring it out. One more to the right, and then to the left, and float everything down. Give those hands a shake. Perfect, bring those feet together. Inhale those arms up, really reach toward the ceiling. Bring the hands together and bring them down, all the way down. Again, bring them up. Hands together, bring them down. One more, bring it up and bring it down. Good, take two hands, clasp them behind you, send your hands down your tailbone to your chest to the sky, gaze upward if your neck allows it to. We're stretching out the front of the shoulders and release. Again, clasp those hands, bring them up, and release. All right, so exercise number one is the inchworm. So I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm bending forward from those hips, putting my hands on the floor, walking forward to plank, pausing, and then coming back to the standing position. That's the first one, that's an inchworm. I have to move my chair out of the way. It's a little too close. The second one is gonna be on the floor for tricep dips. So I'm gonna sit down. I'm going to have my fingers facing as close to my hips as I can. So it's ideal to have your fingers facing your hips. 
It's okay if they're splayed out a little bit. Just really work to get your fingers in. I'm gonna keep my chest up. I'm gonna raise my hips. So if you can't do a tricep dip, just think about holding it here. If you can do the tricep dip, you're just bending your elbows backwards and pushing yourself up. To make it a little easier, you can use your hips to help you out. If this is too hard for you, keep your hips on the floor and then just bend up, bend and up. Okay, that's the second one. The third one are arm circles. So I'm gonna do this one on my knees. You can stand for this one if you like. Arm circles, so many this way, so many this way. That's the third one. The fourth one is a crab walk or a crab hold. Same idea as the tricep dips, but we're holding up. And if you wanna do the crab walk, we're just walking and walking and forward and backwards. All right, and the last one are push, push up hovers. So flipping it over, I'm in the push up position, either on your toes or on your knees. I'll demonstrate on my knees. I'm gonna bring it down to about halfway. I'm gonna hover here and hold, and I'm gonna release it down. And then we're gonna push ourselves back up. Bring it down, hover and hold, and then bring it down. Pause and push yourself back up. So that's the movement. I'm actually gonna grab a mat for this because I am unprepared. All right, so get your drink if you haven't got your drink yet. All right, five exercises. We'll do each exercise. Let's do each exercise 10 times. And we'll see how many rounds we can get through. So first exercise, inchworm. So I'm gonna stand at the back of this mat. I'm gonna stick my hip, my fingers in my hip creases. That time I'm gonna bend forward. And once I get as far as I can, I'm gonna bend my knees to get my feet to the, my hands to the floor, walk it out, hold and plank, walk it back, and bring it up, all the way up. That's one. Go again. Do this for 10. I'm gonna pause and plank. Bring it up for two. Good. Bring it forward. Walk it out. Pause. Walk it back for three. Bring it forward. Walk it out. Pause. That's four. You got a couple more in you. Walk it forward. Pause and hold. Walk it back. Halfway there. Forward. Hand walk, hold. Let's do three more. Forward. Hold. Up, two more. Hold. Walk it back. Okay, last one. It's arm day. We're working those arms. Get a little bit of core in this one. And walk it back. <sighs> nice work. Take a drink if you need it. I'll meet you on the floor for those tricep dips. So my knees are bent. My fingertips are as closely pointed to my hips as I can get them. My Arms are straight. So if you want the full move here, I'm lifting my hips, bending my elbows straight back. To modify, you just stand, you just hold. To modify even further, we leave our hips on the floor and then we just push, shoot our elbows back and up. So this is working the triceps, which is the back of the arm, which is very hard to hit. So all right, so 10 of these. Whichever you prefer. If you're gonna do the hold, then I'll just count you to 10. Take breaks when you need it. Just get right back into it when you're ready. And lift those hips if you're there and go. Bend those elbows for one, two, three. Sending that chest to the sky. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Release with control. Nice job. Give those wrists a shake. For this next one for the arm circles, you can stay on your knees, you can sit on the floor, or you can stand. Arms out to a T. First, we're gonna go forward for 10 reps. So nice and quick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause, reverse it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause, reverse it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Keep your arms up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause, reverse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release with control. Ha! Ah, go ahead, inhale, arms up. Exhale, them down. Give them a shake. Exercise four to that crab walk or that tabletop hold. So similar to the tricep dips, but this one, your hips are lifted and we're moving. So either it's gonna be a hold or we're gonna crab walk front to back, left to right. So I will count you out. Doesn't matter which way you go, if you front, back, forward, left or right, I'm just gonna to count to 10 and just keep moving until I'm ready to, until we're at 10. All right, get ready. Lift those hips and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And go ahead and release with control. Nice job. That's kind of an awkward one, but it's a good one. All right, we're gonna roll it over onto our half push-up hovers. So I'm gonna get in the push-up position. I choose to do these on my knees. If you'd like to, you can stand and do them on the wall. It's the same idea. I'm gonna do them on my knees. Make sure everything is nice and straight. I'm gonna lower my arms, lower my body to about halfway. I'm gonna pause here and exhale it down for one. Now I'm gonna push myself back up. Good, again, bring it down, half hover, hold, and release for two. Good, push it back up. Bring it down, hold, all the way down to the floor for three. Nice job, push it back up. Down, hold, all the way down for four. Good, push it back up. Again, bring it down, hold, bring it all the way down the floor, push it back up. Let's do one more of these, make it count. Bring it down, hold, and release it all the way down, and push it back up. Excellent work. Five exercises. We got through them all. Grab a drink, just keep your body moving. Take a quick break right here. We're gonna do it all again. So if you're breaking, just keep your body moving. I can already feel it in my arms. How about you guys, can you feel it in your arms? Let's do a quick dynamic stretch. Take that arm, take that left arm right across your body and we're gonna hold it here. Good, and release. Other side, hold it here for a moment or two and release, let's do that again. Bring it across, hold, release, hold, and bring it down. All right, this next set, we're gonna do eight of each rep. So we're gonna do eight reps of each exercise. So starting with that inchworm, then to the tricep dips, and then to the arm circles, the crab crawl, and those half push-up hovers. All right, get ready. Fingers in, peace fingers in that hip crease. Inhale here, exhale, bring it down as far as you can. Bend your knees so you get your hands on the floor. Walk it out, hold, and walk it back. Good job, that's one. Again, bend from those hips, walk it out, hold, walk it back. Two, forward, walk it out, hold, walk it back. That's three. Forward, 
hands to the floor, walk it out, hold, walk it back. Halfway there. You got four more in you? I think you do. Walk it out, hold, walk it back. Three more. Forward, hold, and back. Two more. Hold, walk it back. All right, one more. Let's make a count. This is the last one of these we're going to do for the day. And walk it back. And stand on up. Nice job. Okay, let's get back on the floor for the remainder of this workout. Tricep dips are next. So either bouncing on your hips or lifting those hips into the air, getting everything organized. Those arms are straight. Chest to the ceiling, bending those elbows for one. Elbows shoot straight back. Good. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Release with control. That counts, the releasing with control. Back up three sets of arm circles, three sets of eight forward, then three sets of eight backwards. Arms out to a T. Right, start with a forward motion. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause, reverse, right to the reverse. Four, five, six. Get ready to go forward, forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pause, backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last set. Good. Five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pause and float them down. Nice job. Give them all a shake. Whew. All right, back on your butts for this crab crawl or crab hold or reverse tabletop or whatever you want to call it. So to a count of eight, we're going to move backwards and forwards. Let's just move backwards and forwards for this count of eight. So lift your hips and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And release with control. Nice work. Last exercise, and I will stretch you out, is push-up hovers. I already do eight of them. So either on the floor, on your knees, on your toes, on the wall, wherever you're at. Nice straight line with the back of my body. Then inhale here, exhale, hold it here. Release all the way down with control. Pause, push yourself back up for one. Bring it down, hold, and release. Take a quick rest. Two, good. Bring it down, hold, release to the floor. Push it back up for three. Again, hold, down, that's four. Push yourself back up. Almost there. Hold. Release down, get your breath, push yourself back up. Two more. Down, push yourself back up. Last one, this floor is really hard on my knees. <laughs> Hold, bring it down, and push yourself back up. Nice work. Go ahead and assume child's pose position. Child's pose is nice wide knees, and we're gonna set our hips back on our legs on our feet. If you can release your head to the floor, go right ahead. Arms are outstretched in front of you. Perfect. Just breathe. Catch your breath. From here, leave your head on the floor. Flip your hands so your palms are facing upwards toward the sky. Just breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders, and we're going to push ourselves up into tabletop position. Bring those feet together. 
and I will meet you up in the standing position to cool you down. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bring it down, sweep the floor. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. Hold on to your knees, or I'm sorry, hold on to your shins or your thighs for support. Just letting your head, your neck, and your shoulders relax. Go ahead and shake your head no. In this forward fold, shake your head yes. Perfect. Bend your knees, tuck your chin into your chest, roll it up nice and slow. Head is last to come up. When you're ready, we're going to do shoulder rolls backwards and bring those shoulders forwards. Good. Bring that arms up to a T. I'm going to take my right arm, bring it across my body like we did in the middle of the workout. Good. Release other arm. Bring it in. And release. Perfect. Right arm up overhead. Bend that right arm, grab your left arm, press onto your right elbow, and I want you to push, ever so gently, push that right elbow down so your hand is like reaching down the middle of your back. Just to stretch out the backs of those arms. We do a lot of back of the arm work today. Good, and release, relax. Other arm, left arm overhead. Go ahead and bend that left arm, take your right arm, Gently, gently, gently push that elbow so your hand is reaching down the middle of your back. You should feel that stretch right there. It feels so good. Perfect. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. And release. Float those arms down. Nice work, everybody. Excellent, excellent arm day. I like that workout. It's low impact, but it really gives a good workout on the upper body. All right, so in about three minutes, I will be back with 20 minute hit. Just give me a second, I'm gonna switch everything around and I'll see you here to get sweaty.